Hi Scorpio, welcome to your June 2018 reading. We are nearing halfway through the year. Um, and we are a month away from Jupiter going direct in the sign of Scorpio again. So if you're still feeling that little bit lack of momentum or you're going over old ground still, that's probably why. Um, we have a lot of Gemini energy going on at the minute. So that is uh, in your eighth house, which is Scorpio. Scorpio is the eighth house. So um, Gemini is an interesting energy because it makes you on one hand a lot more attractive and magnetic to things in your life. You know, you're attracting what you're putting out. And at the same time, it's a little bit of a struggle because sometimes the eighth house energy even for a Scorpio, it can be quite heavy. Uh, if you have Gemini in your chart, you know, your moon or your rising, um, you're going to be feeling actually pretty good this month. Okay, so we have a few things popped out here. Money is going to be a big factor this month. You're going to have a money-making opportunity. Um, Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, Judgment, and the High Priestess. Two major arcana in the middle. And then the beginning of a money-making scheme and the end the fruition of it so your ideas this month you're gonna have like an aha moment when it comes to your finances I think it could be uh, somewhat spiritual so um, a lot of the times people that are afraid of money end up worse off than the people that are excited about money and enjoy money so I feel like the theme for you this month is going to be enjoy your money and really tap into what it is that you want to be doing um, what you want to be saving, what you want to be spending, that type of thing, and just put out thoughts of abundance because I feel like abundance in terms of your money is going to be happening for you this month. Now, it may be because there is a full moon in Sagittarius, which is your second house of income um, at the end of May, so next week. But let's see what else we've got going on for you, Scorpio. So the first card is the Two of Swords. So you're at a deadlock about something. Um, you're having like a, it's known as the stalemate uh, scenario. It's crossed by strength. So this may be with a Leo person. It's maybe with someone who has Leo, Sun, Moon or Rising. Um, if you want to know that, you can check out their birth chart online. Uh, but this may also be that you're not feeling so strong and you're not feeling so confident. Um, this could be the eighth house energy because strength is the number eight card. Um, when it's crossing the two, I feel like this could be a relationship with another person. So I feel like there could be a relationship that's just come to a halt suddenly, unexpectedly, or there, it's a relationship that's not moving forward. Um, it may be that you're not moving forward from a relationship from a while ago. I feel like this could have been something that ended last summer around August. Um, because I think I mentioned the Chiron influence uh, beforehand in, I think it was my April reading, um, about how it was always hitting you very hard in August, September time and I feel like there was a particularly hard hit last summer so you could be dealing with that. It could have been a very high maintenance relationship or someone that took a lot out of you but we definitely have a heartbreak in the recent past. Okay so three of swords energy, third party interference. Um, we have a water sign coming in though so I Cancer, Scorpio or Pisces but you're definitely coming out of and I hate saying this to Scorpio people because nobody hates it more <laughs> But um, third party things, three of swords. But this can be something as simple as being separated by distance. Uh, this can be miscommunication. Um, I do feel like it was one of those scenarios where somebody was putting in a lot more work. Maybe this was somebody that was actually seeing multiple people and got tired. Like they wore themselves out. I'm sympathy for them anyway, Scorpio. Five of pentacles. Okay, so you're feeling kind of out in the cold with this person or they're out in the cold with you. So I feel like more so they may be out in the cold with you, but you're still feeling the loss. So... Um, you may have put somebody out of the house, you may have put somebody out of your um, immediate circle, you know, you're, you may not be seeing them anymore, but I feel like you're still sort of um, stuck in the energy. The energy is lingering, okay? Death card, that's Scorpio. The tower, oh, Scorpio, this must have been hard. Ace of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles, okay, so at the minute, Page of Swords underneath. So some of you are dealing with an air sign as well, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. Um, I feel like I can see it. <sighs> this person really was a disappointment. Okay. Um, so Scorpio, it's it sort of looks a little bit like 
you're still reeling from this and you're feeling a little bit like you just you know for Scorpios I think a lot of the emotional intensity as represented here in the tower card and the death card I actually feel a little bit more like at the minute you're just uh, you're like I don't have any more feelings to give so you're handling this different to the way you'd handle another disappointment right um you're not as emotional about it you're kind of like you're disappointed but you're not you're just the feeling that I'm getting is like a this again type thing um but I kind of feel like this isn't as big as it maybe would seem ordinarily right so the eight of pentacles is in the outcome position which is that working on yourself working towards something and actually seeing growth it's like something or someone comes into your life whether this is work related or whether this is romantic someone or something comes into your life um or something happens it means you have to put in a little bit more work into yourself it's like the final uh the final bit of work before the um fruition okay so i'm gonna see what else we've got going on for scorpio Four of Wands has just popped out. Now, I did catch a glimpse of that underneath whenever I was um, moving the cards. So I actually feel like there's there's some good times coming up rather than this being, this. it's rather than this being big. I don't feel like this is big. I don't feel like this is permanent, okay? I feel like this is a, this is a yeah, the Eight of Cups. I feel like this is a, a period of walking away, but I don't feel like, I just don't feel final. Like I have the Death card and the Tower card here, but I don't feel like it's, Final. Um, I don't know why. I feel like something. Um, I feel like something major is going on. To be honest, the hermit. Okay, so that goes perfectly with that two of swords stalemate thing. Looking for answers. Three of cups again, okay, so this, this is definitely, um, you were dealing with someone that was seeing multiple people or you've had a falling out within your friendship group or your social community, okay? So there, I feel like there's been, there's been a falling out. There's been a, yeah, justice is here. Yeah, you were in an uh, unbalanced relationship. It wasn't fair, you know, the amount of work that you were putting in compared to the other person wasn't fair. Um, you did fall out about this. You, I feel like you called someone out. Like you actually had the conversation. Um, because you didn't like being in competition with somebody else. You're like, if you want to be with me, you be with me. I, I'm not competing with anybody else here. The Hierophant, okay. So, King of Cups and the Hierophant. I feel like someone wants an emotional commitment. This may be you. This may be that you sifted through people. Here you are again. Um, maybe that you're sifting through people quite quickly and you're just... You've learned the lesson that if it's if it's so hard in the beginning, you're just not going to do it. And if they're not giving you what you want, you're definitely not going to do it. You're just like, nope. The tower card. I feel like this is somebody that was actually trying to manipulate you a bit, Scorpio. The two of cups and the ace of wands. And the nine of cups. Yep, yeah, there is fruition. And the king of pentacles. Okay. Um, I'm also getting, this is somebody coming in. Um, like coming in, energy coming inward is Taurus. Uh, for some of you, it may also be, as I say, the water sign. I feel like another water sign is coming in. And they, they're very, um, they're emotionally sound, they're morally sound. When I look at this, I see someone that's very uh, traditional with their romantic feelings. They're not someone that plays around a lot. They're someone that seems to be very committed from the get-go, okay? So this could be somebody new, particularly with the King of Pentacles energy underneath. Um, this is everyone's dream partner in theory, okay? So this is the type of person you would want to settle down with. This isn't necessarily the exciting King of Wands or Knight of Wands, um, seems very exciting and flirtatious and it's very passionate, but at the same time they come in and go quite quickly and you can't quite trust them. This is more the trusting person, someone that's worth getting to know and worth investing in, and they invest in you back, because I feel, Scorpio, like there's been partnerships that just have been um, all work, no play, or you're not getting out from it what you've been putting in, and I feel like at the minute you've just decided, I want to get something out of my relationships other than just <laughs> grief. It's not so much to ask, is it? And I feel like there's really um, a wish is going to be fulfilled with this Nine of Cups. Now, that obviously, with the Nine of Cups, it comes with that little disclaimer that, you know, you have to be careful for what you wish for because you may be wishing for this person. And I feel like it is a fire sign. Um, 
to be a Libra as well. I feel like there is this wishing for them, but when you actually get them down to the actual, you know, the actual long term thing, you might not be as interested as you would have thought, right? So it's, you know, it's a catch 22. You can wish for this person um, that's hurt you to come back. And I don't actually feel like they've gone anywhere. <laughs> I don't feel like this person's that far away. But there's other people coming into the picture as well, Scorpio. So we'll see what's going to happen here. I'm going to go around this again. But you're just, you're so of the mindset that I'm not going to compete with anybody else. Oh, Eight of Wands. Oh, messages are coming through. Um, possibly messages from abroad or travel uh, opportunities. Now, this would make sense because it is the summertime. A lot of people travel, so that's going to be coming up. Um, but I feel more of it in, in a messages kind of way. This King of Pentacles really wants to be acknowledged. Okay, so this could be that Earth sign that I said about an Earth sign coming in. I feel like it is um, that you're fighting off the attention of, but you're fighting off your defensive against them. Um, Six of Cups, so someone could have returned um, a past romance. And I'm feeling like with the Justice card here, it could be a Libra person. Um, but we have one, so it could be a fire sign as well. Yeah, I feel like it's a lot. I feel like a lot of you are dealing with a fire sign or someone from a different country, possibly someone from a different background, um, that made you feel like you were in competition all the time, they made you feel like you weren't quite enough. I feel like they, they weren't overtly uh, covert or sneaky about the fact that you were in competition. I almost feel a little bit like they flaunted it in your face. Um, and I'm with the devil card, I can't help but feel like they sort of did it on purpose. I love your lips. Ah. Ah. Um, I like this combination a lot, actually, Scorpio. I don't know if you can see this. The King of Cups, the Hierophant, and the Lovers, to me, suggest someone who's marriage material. Or um, someone that you may marry. Some of you are getting married, I think. Some of you are engaged, certainly. But some of you are taking your relationships to the next level. Or you're about to meet someone um, who wants to do that. Now, you're you're really going into this month of June with a no BS attitude, you're cutting through the BS, there's messages coming in, okay, um, you're also, you know, be wary somewhat Scorpio of who is actually watching you online, because I do feel like there's people that are sort of keeping an eye, and I feel like this has come up for most Scorpio readings, but be wary of people's exes keeping an eye on you, um, Scorpios are tremendous for attracting jealousy in other people, uh, because Scorpios have a jealous energy themselves sometimes and it, you can really get back what you're attracting out. So if you're the type of person that's quite possessive and jealous, a lot of the time you can manifest it back into your life. And I feel like there's people keeping an eye on you. Could be a Pisces. Um, in terms of signs that I feel like are keeping an eye, it seems to be Pisces, Gemini, um, or another Scorpio. Okay. Um, three of Wands. So you have a decision to make between two people and I feel like it is um between Cheaty Gonzalez the person that cheated on you or made you put you in a third party situation and somebody brand new and I feel like this person that's brand new is very very um upfront from the get-go of what it is that they want from a partner what it is that they want from you they're very smitten with you I feel like there was a smitten person came in last month um I feel like this could still be the person there's someone who is on the periphery or they're either making themselves very clear or not so much um but they're very smitten and very keen and you're gonna know that particularly this month um what's interesting is you go from coming out of a third party situation back into another one but i feel like this is you in the middle like you're waiting to see who's coming to the fore i almost feel a little bit scorpio like this is a race between which one can get to you first <laughs> and um it sort of seems to me like you're gonna be like this little guy here you know the cat that got the cream like ha 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 look at me in my great position um oh but I actually have to choose one and I do feel like one of them may be coming from overseas I think there's going to be somebody that's traveling to see you and I feel like they're traveling to make a point um and what's interesting to me is when I see this happening and the eight of pentacles is there 
I feel like you're so busy doing your own thing, working on your own thing, that when these people appear, um, it sort of catches you off guard a bit. Like, I feel like there's a message comes through, um, and it's a message that you're not really expecting. I actually feel like it could be from the 5th of June towards the... Um, I feel like the 5th to the 8th of June might be kind of significant for messages coming through, but I'm also getting the 26th for some reason. Um, now, as I say, underneath we have the Seven of Swords. I do feel like you have to be particularly um, upfront about what it is that you're wanting because on the one hand, you're going to kind of want to keep your emotions and your opinions to yourself, but you are going to be in somewhat of a secretive relationship or something. There's going to be something secretive. I almost feel like it's one of those ones that you might not be telling your friends or family about because they know that the person's hurt you um, and you're not so keen to disclose it to them. That may be where the hiding bit's coming in. But I feel like this person that put you in a third party thing comes back. Um, but I also feel like there's somebody new coming in. So I'm just going to clarify uh, this three of wands, okay? Ten of Swords, okay, so I feel like um I'm the King of Wands, okay. Page of Cups. And the Fool. Okay, so I feel like the person that um I do feel like the person that really hurt you was a fire sign. Um and I feel like they come back with a romantic message. So I feel like you are literally waiting for them to come to you. Okay, so I almost feel like you're waiting, you know, with the three of wands, it's this guy waiting by the, he's watching his ships come in, I feel like there's someone on this boat, like I feel like there's someone coming in by a boat, or an airplane, I feel like you're waiting on this person to have that talk, it may be that some of you are in relationships that are at a make or break point, and they may be fire signs, um, but I feel like they're coming at you with a romantic message. Uh, the Ten of Swords to me just really suggests that they actually did hurt you or they did, um, things did end. You know, Ten of Swords are endings. I feel like things have ended with this person. So it's like it ends and they return, okay? So um, I feel like there's that person coming in and then I get the water sign as well or the earth sign. Uh, I'm getting earth or water because the Hierophant is obviously Taurus. Uh, the King of Pentacles is here. The King of Cups is also here. Um, of course, with signs and stuff, it can be, say, a Virgo with a moon in Pisces, or it can be a Pisces with a moon in Taurus. People's birth charts are all different. Cards can't pick up each individual person's birth chart. Uh, but I do feel like these are more, you know, sentimental, emotional characters who are very compatible energies that are coming in this month and really want to make a go of things with you. But at the same time, I see this like connection with a fire sign that you're not so keen to vanish um but I see you making the choice okay Scorpio so it's up to you what you do with that um enjoy the attention because I feel like you're going to be getting quite a lot of it this month it may be quite dramatic um which suits Scorpio I think you know, it's Scorpio's dramatic energy and all the eighth house energy going around you know June will always be an interesting time for Scorpios it's always going to be that playful Gen uh, Gemini uh, energy and then that deep Scorpio energy the combination of the two just reminds me all of the fool card uh, that playful jester thing going on so enjoy your Gemini friends as well this month because they're going to be um, like your sidekicks uh, so I hope you enjoyed that Scorpio. If you want a personal reading with me, you can contact me uh, at the email address listed below. Um, and if not, I will see you in July for your July readings. Bye!